Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangled Skeins Crafter. Um, it's been a little bit since I recorded anything. <laughs> I feel awkward. Um, I've been trying to upload stuff. A lot of time it's stuff from my, my book talk. <laughs> but I'm going to try to get back into recording more often. Um, mostly today I just have my cross stitch update. I haven't really done any diamond painting the last month. Um, yeah, April was a bad month for diamond painting. I think the only diamond painting I did was the um, whip and chat, the snowman, like the wooden stand up one. That's the only thing I did the entire month. I'm sorry if you hear a lot of noise. My cat is trying to join the video. I have no idea why. So, um, the plans I made, the like hesitant plans I made for April, I did not follow through with. So I didn't finish the diamond painting. I didn't do another of the mini block sets. Um, I didn't start any more diamond painting. I can't remember if that was a plan. I cannot remember everything I had said in my video. I didn't work on my crystal dragon, I think it's what it's called. The one that looks like he's holding a globe. No. Sorry, it's my cat again. But let's get started. I'll show you my progress. I don't, I didn't think to take any pictures of where I was when I was starting these. So, up, oh, and that is Ollie. He needs attention apparently. I'll show you just randomly. So I did do a little bit more on this one, but not much. <laughs> I think the last I had showed you, I had not worked any more on the bottom. And I'd only done part of this top square. So I did more up here and that's all I did like a hundred, 120, I don't even know, stitches, not much. I am going to put this away for a little bit. I'll keep it close at hand in case I decide I want to stitch on it, but it's not a priority for me. Honestly, I don't know how much time I'm going to have between school, which is kicking my butt. <laughs> I just finished two classes because I think I told you before I take two classes at a time for eight weeks at per class. Um, I just finished the two I was doing and I made an A in both so that's good but now I just started two more that is a little more homework heavy. A lot more reading involved and I don't know. Plus um, I'm going to orientation tomorrow for a new job so I'm going to be working full time on top of going to school full time on top of my book talk and my YouTube. So we will see what I can manage to do. I have this, let me try angling that different. Alright, I did work a little bit more on Mononoke, but not much. I think last time I showed her to you, yeah, I haven't done any in the bottom half or I just did some of the cream. So I did more. I did some blue. I can't remember if I had any of the blue done last time. A little bit more of the cream. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see it, I think, a little bit. There you go. But yeah, I haven't done too much more on her. I do plan to work on her some this month. So let me for right here. Um, the next one I also showed you last month. I really like this one. This one I worked on just like a little bit, put it aside and just forgot about it. So I had done, I think the greenish, greenish grayish colors. I'm just gonna say green. I can't remember if I'd had all of it, but these. So the only thing I really worked on was this kind of golden brown color and the pink. So not a whole lot done. Enough. I mean, I actually made some progress on it, but not as much as I would have liked. 
what is that, three so far? I'm gonna try to keep track, but I'll forget by the time I'm done recording. Um, I was really planning on working a lot on this one. And I did not. I did not even put another stitch in her. So I'm still with just this, these few stitches up in top. That was disappointing. There's another one I just I put her to the side and totally forgot she even existed. I'm not sure if I'm going to get her out this month or not. Another one I'm not sure if I'm going to continue working on this month is this cute snowman. I love this one so much. She makes me happy. I did what I'd planned. This is one of the only ones I did what I planned. But I filled in the rest of this white down here. Or a lot more of it. I can't remember if it's yellow or not. I don't think so. Um, I'd finished that little bit of blue I was working on and then I came up and did what maybe a couple hundred stitches in her face and then I have some scattered stitches all through here it's a lot of confetti so there's a lot of traveling so I actually put quite a few stitches in her they're just or a lot of time over several days before I put her away. It's just, it's very confetti, a lot of traveling, just the blue. Can't remember if I'd done any of it last month or not. But it's just scattered all through here. It's not really picking it up. You can see if I show you the back that it's very very scattered, very uh, traveling a lot with my threads. There's no good, good way to do it when it's confetti like that. All right. Um, I did start some new ones. I'll show you the starts in a minute. I did pull out one of my favorites and worked on her quite a bit. I went to my friend's house and stayed a couple nights and uh, spent a couple days like while she was at work and stuff stitching while her kids introduced me to um, a YouTube channel called Extra History. It's really hard to do this over the cat but he is not moving so I hope you don't mind the cat. But I did more, a lot more, I don't know how many stitches but quite a few of the black up on the top plus in her hair and around her face and then I started on this dark I don't know if it's a dark blue it's 823 so it's like a dark blue I started that in her hair and like mixed in with the black and then I did more of the uh, whatever this color is on her face it's not a white, it's like an off-white. And I did more around her eyes. I, I'm trying to fill in all the random stitches in her eyes. I'm really enjoying how she's turning out. Come down and around. Started on her neck. And started in her hair here. Came out here. Um, I gotta go tomorrow and pick up the the red because I want to do the red that's up through here and I don't have that color 934 it's like a really dark green but yeah I just I really enjoy stitching on her and the um, cloth is at that point where it's not like too stiff so it's easy to just work in hand just sit and watch TV or something and stitch on the big blocks of black I'm gonna keep her on hand and work on her this month. All right, I had planned to start this, and I did, and I actually did quite a bit. I don't think I'd started this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'd planned to start this. So this was probably the one I worked on the most at the beginning of the month.
Do I have a picture? I'll try to insert a picture. Um, it is my Harry Potter snow globe. So I've done, ow, the cat's biting me. Browns. <laughs> All I have to do is touch him and he runs away. You act like he, sorry, I was talking to him. He acts like I beat him or something. Anyway, so I worked on the browns and the hat. I love the sorting hat and then the black. I come down through here. And I have some of the browns through here. It is easier to show you the back. So I did quite a bit on this one. I was just really filling this one for a few days. I was sending pictures to my daughter. I'm like, you know what it is? Can you recognize it? She could not recognize the sorting hat. Which kind of hurts me on some level. <laughs> she just, she's never been the Harry Potter fan that I am. But yeah, I just love how that looks. And I'm going to keep this near to hand, so maybe I can open it some more. It's just, it's another one that I worked on for quite a bit. Oh, well, not quite a bit, but several days. And then I set it to the side and just kind of forgot that it existed. Alright, I have two more new starts. is Hal from Hal's Moving Castle. If you don't recognize it, the picture is kind of blurry, but I absolutely love this image. And I started this. Sorry. Get the threads. So I just worked on it for like maybe a day. And I just start up in this corner. I started with this like gray and this purple and just, just working my way down. I think I was doing a strand and then picked another color and did a strand and then this one I think there was a lot of traveling so I just parked it started another. I actually had this strand still going because I was planning on working it, on it some more and I sat to the side and just forgot about it. I keep saying I hate leaving needles in my fabric and then I keep finding them with needles in them. So yeah, I plan on working on this one some more. I just hope I have time to work on stuff. My schedule should be three 12 hour days, which is what I was working at NASA. I'm hoping that means whenever fall and winter comes around, I'll be able to work both jobs. I mean, it's, I know it's a lot of hours, but I really like the NASA job, and I hope I really like this one, so. Oh, I haven't told you. I'm going to be like a home companion. Um, they were talking about um, an elderly gentleman with dementia, and um, he needs 24-7 monitoring, basically. And I think he lives with his wife, but I'll be there just to do like light housekeeping and make sure he can get around and get his showers and make sure he takes his medicine. And I'll be working nights, so hopefully, I shouldn't say hopefully, it sounds rude, but I'm hoping that he'll sleep good. So maybe I can bring homework or listen to audiobook while I make sure that, you know, he's safe. This is, if you don't know, Sophie. I always want to say Sophia, but it's Sophie um, from Howl's Moving Castle. So this is like a companion to the other one. Another image I absolutely love. If you've seen my unboxing for this, I think I just kept going on and on about all the detail. This is a blurry picture, but on the side it's not blurry. But the hats and her, her boots. I love the little lace-up button. I always call them button-ups with the little lace-up boots. Just a lot of detail in this. So I started her also up in the corner. Needle in there because I was planning on coming back. Looks like I just did one collar. Like I said, it's so much easier just to show you the back for this, but so I was just doing this. Is it like a it's a green? I was working my way down and across. 
with that collar. It's very busy. It's not as easy to just sit and like watch TV or something and work on this. So this is like if I'm, cause I've just been in the mood to watch, just lose myself in my, my romance dramas, my K dramas, my C dramas, my J dramas. Uh, there was even a, a funny rom-com, a Thai rom-com on Netflix that I watched that made me laugh a lot. I've been just wanting to watch those and it's hard for me to stitch and read. I mean, I know I can, but I feel like I'm missing stuff if I'm watching something. And if I'm reading like on my Kindle, I feel like I'm taking forever to read something. So usually I just listen to audiobooks while I stitch. All right, like I said, that's about it for what I did. I did do, I have this. I still haven't sealed it. I did this, I did like a whip and chat. I cannot remember what I talked about in that. That was my first like whip and chat. I really think this is cute. I'm gonna put this up every year after I get it sealed. That'll be one of my little holiday decorations. Um, all right, let's do future plans. Because like I said, I didn't do any other diamond painting. I didn't do any of the block sets. I didn't I didn't do latch hook. I didn't do any knitting. Um, there's a couple, two knitting patterns that I won that I really want to start, but I have not found the yarn for them. I haven't been able to afford to buy any new yarn in the quantity I would need. And then I haven't had a chance to go through digging, stash diving to see what I have. Um, one of the patterns is a shawl, which will look good in like a, a plain or a tonal, not, not striped or anything. I mean, it might look good in striped, but, or maybe an ombre, but I'm just wanting a nice solid collar or semi-solid. And then the other pattern is socks, which I think I need two colors for. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud now. Um, as for plans, cross-stitching plans, I am going to do the acrostic challenge for May. Let's see, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's 13 letters in the acrostic for May. It is share kindness. I think I counted those right. So that is going to be what I am going to use. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking. Because I decided not to plan anything there for a month or two. But I feel like I actually accomplish more when I do plan. And I'm more in the mood now to plan out. But I'm not going to plan as specifically this time. And we'll see how it goes. I was going to do Stitch Mania, but it's so, everybody does it so differently. I wasn't sure what to do. I didn't want to do like 15 new starts or 30 new starts or anything like that. So, instead I'm just going to do this acrostic challenge again. So, I left her here because she is the first one. I'm going to work on her for at least one hour one day that is my plan um, I'm going to take a remember to take a picture of my starting point this time so I'll be able to insert it for my next update I don't have a stitch plan just a minimum time planned so that is S Sophie and then for H for share. I mean, I think it's probably obvious what I'm going to pull out, but I am going to work on how. Like I said, I will try to remember to take the starting pictures for my update. Let's try not to put my face in there. All right, for A, I have written down another new start. I do not have that planned yet, what it's going to be. But I have um, a couple things that I haven't unboxed yet 
that I'm thinking that I will start. No promises. It might be something I uh, unboxed previously, but I am going to start something for this. All right, next. If I can find it. I hope I'm not breathing hard in the mic. My nose is all stopped up and it's making me feel congested and short of breath. So for R in share, I am just going to pull out Princess Mononoke. I'm saying R is for red. And I might actually try to work on the red. Just just for funsies. I just I really want to get this this stuff done. But I keep just getting distracted. So we will see. Like I said, no specific plans except for what some of the pieces are that I want to work on. Okay, I'm going to pause and get the other ones. I didn't get them out. All right, where was I? Um, what I had for E and Cher is the Crystal Dragon. For earth but I cannot for the life of me find it right now I have it put away somewhere I'm going to plan on that one but if I cannot find it I'm going to choose something else for E I'm not even sure what something with a tree and say evergreen maybe all right for K in kindness I am going to do one of my kikis I have not decided for sure which one, but I have that one, if you remember it. I only started it up here and then never progressed. Haven't pulled it out for a little bit, so this is one of the options. Also have the other Kiki because I do have two. And this one is the other one. I really like this one, so probably going to be this one if I. But like I said, no specifics. But again, I just started up in a corner and I haven't progressed. I didn't pull her out this month, so. Or this last month. So one of those for K. I in kindness. I am going to leave that open. I have interesting whatever grabs my interest because there's nothing that is jumping out at me with I. I could just anything that I'm wanting to start, that I haven't, that doesn't fit in with my other new starts, or, you know, something. Um, like I said, I'm trying not to be too specific um, for the D in kindness, or, yeah, in kindness, I'm going to do my big eye girl, because, um, what's her name? Beetlejuice. Lydia Deets. So D for Deets. Or you could even say D for dark. And I mean, there's also a possibility I have that dark pumpkin or dark, is that trick or treat one that's really dark? I could always switch that out if I'm not feeling this or if I, I don't know. But this is my plan because I've just really been wanting to work on her. I might actually just work on her tomorrow if I get my homework done. Because I'm just overwhelmed that and starting the new job. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stitch at my new job. Probably not, not, but we will see. Um, for the ends in kindness, because there's two ends, um, just new starts. Um, there's an E in kindness. It was going to be the crystal dragon for Earth, if, if I could find it. And there's two S's in kindness. I'm going to do Studio Ghibli for both, but I'm not sure. I don't have a specific one. I have the Princess Mononoke, I have the two Kikis, I have Hal and Sophie, I have um, that pillowcase that has Totoro in it, and I also have a Totoro, which I have not pulled out for a while. Um, 
I have him sitting somewhere. Anyway, um, if I do work on him, I'll put a, you know, a picture up in my update to show where I started. Only thing I've done is just a little bit in here, and I'd put them away because I got so frustrated with myself because I kept, it's accounted, and I kept miscounting and finding my mistakes as I was doing another collar and it'd be too late to really switch it up or to, I just don't like to rip out once I have a lot of stitches over the back threads. I don't know. It was just really frustrating, but I think I might pull this out again and give it a chance because I, I really love this image. But that's it for my cross stitching kind of plans for diamond painting I really need to get some of the ones out I've been working on and I'm also thinking about maybe doing one of these do another whip and chat maybe talk about school my new job something and work on one of these because it's getting you know it's springtime and it's hot outside but it's getting just lots of flowers and it's so pretty out so I'm kind of leaning towards this one but I also love how the White House looks. So, like I said, I think I'll do one of these. I'm gonna leave these where I can see them because out of sight is out of mind for me. Um, I got yet another one of the mini block kits, another little bird. So I'm thinking about doing one of the birds because I have several now, all different colors. It's just cute. So I want to do one of these in May if I have time. I want to do maybe one of those um, diamond paintings and then work on one of my bigger diamond painting projects. I want to do the cross stitches I showed you. I'd like to start one of my knitting projects but I'm not going to put that in my plans because I do not know how much time I'm going to have between school and work. I'll be working every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night, 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. And it's like a, I think they said it's going to be like a, at least a half hour drive. It might be closer to an hour there and back. So I'm going to be gone maybe 14 hours a day, those three days. And then my classes, I'll have to work on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because everything's due by Thursday. Well, everything's due by Sunday in one class, but you know, I'll be working Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so. So hopefully I will have time in there somewhere to do my crafts. Because if not, I'm, you know, I will get really depressed because that's what keeps me happy. But we will see. Um, let me know what you've been up to. Let me know what you want to see. Do you want to see more cross stitch? Should I do weekly updates instead of monthly updates? It seems like uh, my cross stitching videos gets more viewers, more views, more likes and comments than my diamond painting. Um, I think it might be one thing reason I slacked off a little bit on the diamond painting. I'm sorry, I can't talk. Plus, I have to get my get everything set up anytime I want to diamond paint. My cross stitch I can just do anywhere, so that makes it a little bit different. Um, should I do more stitch with me's? Because I don't mind sitting here and stitching. Because I have three monitors, I put up um, my webcam on one monitor so I can see what I'm showing y'all, see what I'm recording, and then I have notes or anything up on another one, then I have a third one. So I could easily sit here, see myself, you know, know that I'm keeping my project in camera and watch something or listen to stuff while I stitch. That's what I usually do is listen to audiobooks while I stitch in the Stitch With Me's. I could also talk while stitching, but it's easy. It's easier if it's gonna it's, if it's one of the stamped ones. If it's one of the cross or counted ones, it's gonna be harder because I'll lose my train of thought while I'm counting. <laughs> okay, that should be enough rambling for me. I'm going to try to get this edited and uploaded tonight. This is it's technically 1:30 in the morning on the third. I'm gonna try to get this edited and uploaded. So there probably won't be any pictures inserted because I forgot to take pictures of my starting points of most of them but I will try to do better 
I hope you enjoyed this at least a little bit. I swear you just get to hear me just lose my mind every video that I talk in. Um, very easily distracted in my brain. It goes on 30,000 tangents while I'm trying to think of what I need to say. But yeah, I think that's my update. You got update for school, update for life, and update for my cross stitch, my lack of updates for diamond paintings. I don't update my reading on here because I do so much on book talk and I read 63 books so far this year. I read 16 last month and I showed you know what I read in my rating in my little TikTok and I uploaded that here I'm pretty sure so but I mean I can always do more book reviews on here if anybody's interested I usually do them if I do review the books I usually review them on my blog on Goodreads and or TikTok but I will happily do some more um, whips and reviews on here if anybody liked those where I talked about the books I read while I stitched anyway that is enough of me rambling on thank you for sticking around this long if you did and I will see you next time bye bye